video introduces procedures for producing descriptive statistics. Up to now, we have been concentrating mainly on how to read our data into SAS, recoding variables, and attaching formats and labels to the variables. This is an important step. However, our ultimate purpose is to do some sort of analyses, whether calculating simple descriptive statistics like means or frequencies, or performing more complex analyses like multiple regression. Once we get the data in correctly, we are ready to do this. We do analyses using procedures. There are many SAS procedures, each used to perform a certain type of analyses or task. In this lecture, we will look at a few of the ones most often used for descriptive analyses. These are covered in Chapter 2 of the textbook Cody and Smith. A number of these procedures we have already used. In this unit, we will look at them in greater detail. So we are going to be talking about PROC contents, PROC print, PROC means, PROC freak, and PROC univariate. PROC contents is especially useful for Excel spreadsheets. Whenever I use the import wizard, I always do a PROC contents. PROC contents provide you with information in terms of the descriptor portion of your SAS data set. It gives the name of the data set, the number of observations, the names of variables, what type each variable is, whether it's numeric or character, and any labels or formats that have been assigned to the variables. By default, variables are listed in alphabetical order. PROC print, another procedure we've used quite heavily since the beginning of this class, is used to view a SAS data set. PROC print is named somewhat deceptively because it does not actually send data to a printer. It simply lists the values of each variable in the output window. And we will look at some options in PROC print that we haven't used before in the SAS demonstration video. PROC means is used to generate simple descriptive statistics for numeric variables in your SAS data set. It produces descriptive statistics for all numeric variables in the most recently created data set in the order in which they were originally entered. So if you just have a PROC means and then a run, it is going to produce descriptive statistics. And these default statistics include N, which stands for the number of non-missing cases, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum. And it will produce it for all of the numeric variables in the most recently created data set. There are additional statistics that can be requested for PROC means by using one of these keywords in the PROC statement. So here are just some of the many additional statistics that could be requested. Again, N is the number of non-missing cases. So if, for example, you have a variable age and your data set has 100 observations and only 90 of them have value of age entered for that variable, then the N would be 90, even though you have 100 observations that were read into your data set. Another option is N miss, which gives the number of missing cases. The mean, you can request the median, you can request the range, you can request the sum, which basically sums up all observations for a particular variable. Other statistics that are of interest, the standard error of the mean, STDERR. You could request the student's T statistic for testing if the population mean is equal to zero. So you can use PROC means to do a one sample T test. You can also request the P value of the T statistic, testing whether the population mean is zero. CLM is a very important statistic from PROC means. This gives you the two sided confidence limit for the mean. 95% confidence interval is the default. And you can also request lower and upper one-sided confidence limits. I don't tend to use that as often as the option CLM. With PROC means, any number of statistics can be requested. You must list all the statistics that are desired. 
And once you start listing specific statistics that you want with proc means, the default statistics will no longer be in effect. So SAS will only print out those statistics that you have specifically requested in your proc means statement once you start listing your own statistics that you want printed. Proc Freak produces frequency tables for either character or numeric variables. PROCFREAK is also used to produce cross-tabulations of two variables, and it's also very useful for calculating many statistics for two-way tables, such as the chi-square statistic, the Fisher's exact statistic, and we will be talking in detail about the kinds of statistics we can calculate from PROCFREAK later on in the class. I want you to note that it's most useful for categorical variables with not too many categories. So I don't recommend using PROC FREAK with continuous variables that can have many possible values because you're going to generate a great deal of output. PROC UNIVARIATE is useful for getting in-depth numeric descriptions and graphical information on the distribution of a continuous numeric variable. So it generates simple descriptive statistics and information on selected quantiles, the median, the fifth, 25th, 75th, and 95th percentiles. It also produces one-sample tests, including a one-sample t-test, a sign test, and a one-sample Wilcoxon sign rank test. And this is all done by default when you do PROC univariate. PROC univariate can also be used to produce simple text-based graphics, including a box plot, a stem and leaf plot or histogram, and a normal QQ plot, as well as publication quality graphics. So if you want to determine if your continuous variable has a normal distribution, PROC univariate would be the procedure that would be most helpful to do that for you. Now view the SAS demonstration video, Simple Descriptive Statistics.